Welcome to my channel, The Oak Magpie. I'm Maggie and I have a very special project for this customization. In late 2020, I discovered doll customization. Soon after, I wanted to try it out for myself. First step, I needed Monster High dolls. I put a post on social media looking for used dolls. My friend's daughter, Riley, came to my rescue. Little did I know the vast collection of dolls she was going to give me and the jump start it would give me into the amazing world of art dolls. Feeling long overdue, I wanted to make Riley a custom doll as a thank you. I asked her what she would like and boy, I had no idea she would come up with such a great idea. Riley wanted a chamois, or chamois as most Americans say it, goat girl. She gave me a super detailed description of how she wanted her girl to look. I've been saving this EC Dawn Dancer for the perfect project, and this was it. Just look at those hoofed feet. Head and body are prepped as usual. Trim the hair short, shave it as close as possible, heat the head with a blow dryer, pop off her head, then scrape and pull out the glue and her hair plugs. The next prep step is 100% acetone to remove her factory face and a quick body sanding so that the sealant has something to grip. goats have a darker underbody, so I shade her underarms and between her legs with a few layers of sealant and black pan pastels. Starting her face with a creamy yellow for the lighter sections. Then black for the ears, cheek stripes, and her outer eye folds. I use a 
white watercolor pencil to shape her eye and start one of the many layers to get the scalera bright. I color just her top lip and the line under her nose black. This looks like the goat lip, but keeps it sort of human too. With dark brown, I start to sketch in her side eye. layers of the same to intensify the color. The first inkling of that horizontal goat pupil. Dot brows kind of mimic the chamois goat's coloring. A little navy blue shadow just under the top lash line give the eye a rounded depth. I found an actual chamois goat horn on Thingiverse and my brother did his magic shrinking and adjusting so I could just print it on my 3D resin printer. I drum a curve in the underside so it fits nicely to the doll's head. I painted the horns black and the base dark brown. I dry brushed a mustardy color and then a cream. The cream really made the sculptor's ridge details pop. I drilled two small holes that sewing pins can fit into. Once the glue is on, the pins will hold it in place and add stability. Shammy goats have brown, black, and cream coats, so her hair will be tri-colored in the front and brown in the back. Since this goat girl will have an explorer type outfit, I figured she'd have a no frills hairstyle, so she's getting a mid-height ponytail. I glued some rolled yarn wefts to the center of her ponytail for thickness. She's an outdoorsy girl, but she still needed a touch of glam with some eyelashes. ear holes so I utilize them by adding gold jump ring hoops. Hooves 
nails are each painted black with Posca pens and then a glossy varnish. I modified Requiem Art's pajama pattern for this look. Please note the thread shrapnel and seam ripper. This is a line top and I can't read or follow directions, or perhaps both. So I started over with the thicker white cotton and no lining, and then I glued on micro mini buttons. I shortened the pants pattern and added cargo pockets. Then I hemmed the shorts with black thread and added buckles to the pockets. Time to assemble her. Head goes first, then the shirt, and finally the shorts. I was calling her Shammy after the American pronunciation of said goat, and Riley liked it and kept it. So here's Shammy. I cannot thank you, Miss Riley, enough for your generous doll donation. I hope you love Shammy as much as I do and as much as I loved making her. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you next time.